In the state of Colorado, you are allowed by law to purchase a set amount of marijuana from a designated vendor. You may take said marijuana and use it for private and personal purposes only. It may not be consumed openly or publicly, but can be used in certain locations. However, if you purchase and use it legally, your job may still be in jeopardy. Just one of the issues will light up. As we welcome back from the law offices of O'Brien and Ryan in Philadelphia, our legal eagle, Heather Hansen. Heather, always a pleasure to see you, and we're going to get right to work here with a little work in Colorado, because I got to tell you, this one caught me a little bit off guard. As I just pointed out, everything in Colorado is legal, but the Colorado Supreme Court issued the ruling affirming a lower court's decision. You can fire an employee for using medical marijuana off-duty, and this is a case of a guy who's a quadriplegic who actually takes yeah. it for medicinal purposes. Something doesn't quite fly here, but I know the federal laws get involved. Well, that's what it is, Ed. It all comes down to the federal law. And it is a shame in, to some degree because you're right. He was a quadriplegic who used it for muscle spasms and not when he was working, only when he was off of work. But the law there allows you to fire someone if they do something that's illegal. Illegal is not defined. And so since it is still illegal under federal law, it falls within the law. And any employer in Colorado can fire someone. The law is similar in California, Washington, and Montana. So it just goes to show that although many states are legalized, marijuana medical marijuana there's still a problem when the federal law is out there that makes it illegal is this possibly a, a good test case here Heather because this is the first one I've heard of its kind it, it could be Ed but I really do think that ultimately the federal law on this will be the, the final say in these types of cases and the only way that that's going to change is if there becomes a federal law that legalizes medical marijuana or marijuana across the board when I read this case I thought well perhaps this is going to make it more of an issue in the next presidential election you know had kind of fall into the Wayne side this may bring it back into the public light Interesting, too, because he says he didn't use marijuana at work, wasn't accused of being high on the yeah. job, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. But you're right. This is, we knew this was going to happen between states and the federal government. Sooner or later, something like this was going to happen. Shame somebody loses their job over it. In Michigan, the new gay adoption law, actually three laws, allow adoption agencies to say no to other prospective parents, such as unmarried couples, if saying yes goes against their religious beliefs. Heather, I can see this one being fought in the court for years to come. Oh, it is going to be fought in the court year for years to come unless the gay marriage decision that we're all waiting for with bated breath mm. is broad enough to cover this type of thing. Listen, Ed, it is going to raise so many issues because these particular adoption agencies are faith-based adoption agencies. So again, it comes down to the issues that we saw similar to what we saw in Indiana with the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, where you have to balance someone's true religious beliefs against gay marriage, gay adoption, gay rights. And where does that balance come? out. If the Supreme Court makes a very broad statement with the gay marriage state, uh, case, it could actually impact whether or not adoption agencies can do this. And by the way, the Michigan branch of the ACLU said it may file a legal challenge to the new law. And again, as you said, we are still waiting to find out what the Supreme Court does. But again, this one's going to be open and we're going to talk about this for quite some time. Here's another one that caught us and really caught my attention. here. Google has to apply for the right to be forgotten everywhere. Hang on a sec. The right to be forgotten, a French data watchdog says Google has to remove search results from all its domains, not just the European ones, when granting a right to be forgotten. Okay, there you go. I surrender. What is a right to be forgotten? How do I get one immediately? <laughs> <laughs> I You're don't want to be in these search engines TV, anymore, yeah. Heather. I get, get them off the search engines. You know what? The thing about the difference between what's going on in France and what's happening in here is France has a really strong interest in privacy, much stronger than we have here with its laws, with its attitude towards these types of things. But more importantly, we have a real aversion towards censorship and the First Amendment it rules. And so here I never see the right to be forgotten where you can take any bad information about yourself off of the Internet so that it's not available in searches. I don't think it's ever going to happen here. It's censorship. It violates the First Amendment, and it's just not going to its not going to happen. And it would probably stop all the stupid things that people put on their Facebook posts every now and then. We've talked about That's that a million right. times. Less than 60 seconds here. New York medical examiners can keep the organs without notifying family members when bodies are released. This is a little almost macabre, and I, and I think this would be very insulting to people who want to bury their loved ones intact. 
Well, and that's the thing. People don't even know that that can happen. Now, it only happens in certain situations, most often when there's an autopsy. And there's a good reason for it in that it takes time to analyze the organs. And sometimes if you waited as long as it took, you wouldn't get the body back in time to bury it. But there's so many faith issues here. There's so many personal issues here. And what the court said is not that the people, the family doesn't have this right, but that it's something that the legislature has to say. So I would expect you will see people in New York starting to raise bills to try to make there to be a law to ensure that people are given the right to have their or their loved ones organs when they're buried. Teaches us to be careful too because a Staten Island forensic pathologist kept the brain of a 17 year old car crash victim and a classmate on a field trip saw the brain. That's okay right. be very careful how you use the brains all of a sudden I feel like we're dealing in young okay. Frankenstein part two here for a moment. Heather it's always a pleasure to have you on the show thanks so much we'll talk to you again next week. Thanks, Ed. Take care. All right. How would you respond if you lost your job for doing something legal outside of work? Well, we'll talk about a document that made it all legal here in America next.